Kung Pao Chicken is a spicy, sweet, and tangy stir-fried dish from Sichuan. People love how in one bite you get a mix of textures, soft tender chicken and crunchy peanuts. It's so famous that different parts of China have their own versions. It's really common on menus overseas. In the West, restaurants make the dish sweeter and more gravy heavy. Today, we're going to make it Sichuan style. It's from a recipe on The Walks of Life, a popular Chinese food blog. We'll make enough for four. Let's cut the chicken first. Add in the seasoning. Mix it with some cornstarch. It'll give the chicken a silky texture. The coating helps the chicken to stay juicy. Next, we roast the peanuts. Roast them over medium heat so they don't burn. Cook the peanuts for about three minutes. Don't forget to keep tossing them. Let the peanuts cool. Meanwhile, we'll prepare the sauce and the other ingredients. We're going to cut some scallions. We'll only use the white ends of the scallions though. They're pungent and crunchy. Crush some peppercorns. They'll make the dish more fragrant. You can also use ground Sichuan peppercorns. Then, we're going to cut the dried chilies. You can remove the seeds or keep them to make the dish extra spicy. Slice some garlic. If you want a strong garlic flavor, you can crush a whole clove before cutting it. Finally, some ginger. We love to use a grater because it gives us a fine paste with lots of juice. And you won't have to accidentally chew on little bits of ginger when you eat the dish. Let's cook the chicken first. We'll sear the pieces over a high heat and let them cook for a while before tossing them around. Now, it's time to assemble the dish. Peppercorns balance out the heat from the chilies, and their numbing sensation makes the dish a Sichuan classic. When the scallions turn slightly golden brown, it's time to add the chicken and the sauce. Stir fry the chicken until the sauce thickens. Then, toss in the peanuts. Enjoy! I remember when I first uh, heard of Kung Pao chicken and there was uh, little bits of pepper and carrot and vegetables and um, then some chicken and and peanuts. I'm like, oh, okay, that's Kung Pao chicken. We discovered what real Kung Pao, authentic Kung Pao chicken was when I visited China, uh, traveled to China in the 90s. And I think it really shows how uh, how the Chinese community in, 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 in the US and abroad has evolved. Mm -hmm. And we're going back to our roots, more authentic food, you know, tastes are slowly but surely changing in America around Chinese food as, you know, these more hard to find ingredients become a lot more easily accessible and, you know, well stocked in, in Chinese grocery stores. So yeah, that's exciting. Even Americans are realizing, hey, there's more to Chinese food than just an egg roll and beef and broccoli.